finding companies to apply to. Let me just introduce myself. My name is Owen. I'm a degree apprentice and I help people get degree apprenticeships in the engineering, technology and finance industries. Last year, here are some of the people I helped get into degree apprenticeships. Companies like Amazon, JLR, HSBC, KPMG, just to name a few. Okay, so the other day, yesterday actually now I think about it, I sent out this form, basically a feedback form, just a quick Google Forms, asking people what they're struggling with, what you need help with now in terms of degree apprenticeship applications. So I can basically have a look at what you're struggling with and help you out and basically make some videos to help you with that. And one of the key ones that actually a lot of people have been responding with was one of the things they're struggling with is finding companies to apply to. So I thought I'd just put this video out here to help everyone who's in this situation and cover everything you need to know about finding these companies. So the big reason why people are struggling to find companies to apply to is because, to be honest, a lot of applications aren't open yet. Okay, so when do applications open? Most companies actually open their applications from November onwards. Okay, so it might be November until March, something like that. So this is the number one reason why right now you're probably struggling to find apprenticeships, degree apprenticeships, because to be honest, 95% of them aren't open. Okay, it's going to be from November onwards. Finance companies may open from September onwards. So for example, we've had a couple of those already. Goldman Sachs, three of the big four have already come out. So finance companies, they do stuff in September and October. But for most companies, for everyone in any different industries, it's usually going to be November or in March when they open their applications. Okay, so that's why you're not seeing any or you're not seeing many right now because most of them are yet to open. However, once they do open and sort of what can you do to check that and find all these different companies? Well, there's loads of different ways of doing it, really. There's not one place where you can find the companies. That's it, It's a problem with degree apprenticeships that I think people are trying to address because there's no like one hub and there's no single source of truth for all of the degree apprenticeship applications because every like different service you use is going to miss some. So you sort of just have to use multiple. So I'll show you some of the places you can go. So first of all, like websites like Rate My Apprenticeship or the government, like the gov.uk find an apprenticeship service. These are two ones that I used, um, but you need to make sure you're checking both because as I say, Rate My Apprenticeship doesn't have all of them. Find an Apprenticeship doesn't have all of them. But also there are some degree apprenticeships which are on neither of these websites. And that's why the next one is you need to be checking individual company websites. So you're going to have a list of the companies you're interested in, uh, in maybe the engineering, technology and finance industries. If you don't even have a list, then maybe you can check out the specific videos I've done on engineering and technology. You'll find those on my channel. But you can have a list of companies probably that you're interested in. You need to go to their websites because if you just rely on these two websites, it might be your dream company. If they don't put their applications up there, you're going to miss them. So, for example, on, on the key companies that I was looking for, I'd be checking their websites basically checking their like early careers site have they opened applications yet another thing you do i really recommend this is company mailing lists because when you when you like subscribe to a company mailing list um they'll basically send you an email when they open which is really helpful so you won't miss out on that and it means they also might send you some exclusive webinars exclusive content and any of that sort of thing which would be useful in the application process so that's definitely a, an important thing you need to do individual company websites you can also use things like linkedin um, and also TikTok, I think there's like TikTokers who like post like apprenticeship vacancies and that sort of thing. So if you, that's another option you can do. Um, and then also as well, another thing you can do is you can follow me on Twitter. So on my Twitter account, I'm basically going to be posting the most, uh, I was going to say important, I don't know if that's the right word, the, the, the biggest company, that's the word I'm looking for. Basically, I'm going to be posting degree apprenticeships for the biggest companies. So if there's some random like degree apprenticeship in like, Plymouth for some one random company I'm not going to be posting that on my Twitter you're going to have to like find that on other websites but I'm going to be posting basically the the biggest companies so the companies like EY, KPMG, JLR, Amazon all, all like those big companies you're going to find those on my Twitter so I've posted a couple already so for example EY I basically made a post like a day before applications went live um, just so everyone could prepare for that Goldman Sachs um, we got basically early application for Goldman Sachs I posted those links so basically if you followed me on Twitter back then you could apply to Goldman Sachs like a week earlier than everyone else and I think Deloitte they opened the other day and I had a Twitter post up here within about four hours so yeah if you want to follow me on Twitter they'll basically be degree apprenticeships only so level six as you're going through all of these degree apprenticeships are level six you might need to type that in on my Twitter I focus on level six if you go to some like tiktok account or something they might like confuse you like level threes and level fours it can get all a bit confusing on my twitter account it's going to be level six the biggest companies only okay so if you're interested you can go and follow me the link is on the screen which now that i think about you <laughs> you can't just tap like oh yeah x.com let's just tap on the screen yeah no i'll put it i'll put it in the description and then you can like copy paste you can click the link there okay so what should you do then what should you like what's the full-on game plan for finding the best companies for apprenticeships. Well, 
basically you need to first of all pick a few options where you're going to get notified okay because this is the easiest option if you get notified it means you don't have to go and check yourself and it's just a lot easier so for example sign up to a couple of like mailing lists from the key companies you're interested in or so you can sign up to my twitter and then i'll send you like the biggest companies from level six like the ones which do have, like nationwide programs but i'd also recommend still checking because the thing is they're going to get missed Okay, everyone's going to miss things. I, I've just told you now, my Twitter is only for level six, the biggest companies. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of companies which I'm purposely not doing because they don't fit that criteria. Okay, similarly, there's, there's going to be companies who don't have mailing lists or they miss the mailing list or wh whatever it is. So you still need to check. You can't rely on it getting sent. You still need to be active in that sense. So what I'd recommend is just getting in a routine. So this is the routine I would do. Basically, once a week, I would check rate my apprenticeship find an apprenticeship and then key company websites to see if any more had gone live okay so as i said there's no hub for degree apprenticeships it's kind of annoying yeah you have to check rate my apprenticeship and find an apprenticeship and then go on each individual company website for like maybe the 10 key degree apprenticeships you're interested in but it is what it is you don't want to miss on applications because degree apprenticeship applications do close early and on top of that with a lot of companies the sooner you apply you actually have a better chance in the application process. An example of that is JLR. You want to apply as soon as possible. So that's why I'd recommend pick a few options where you can get notified, go and follow my Twitter, and then also just get into a routine of a couple of websites like those, Redman Apprenticeship, Find the Apprenticeship, and key company websites to see if any more had gone live. Now, final thing here, a, a couple of those questions in, in the feedback form were about like people couldn't find specific companies in their area. So obviously everything I've said before is going to apply to that. What I'd say is, if you can't find any in your area, number one, just filter by area when you go in and rate my apprenticeship and the find an apprenticeship service. And um, the second one is, most of the big degree, big like degree apprenticeships are nationwide. So companies like EY, Deloitte, um, they have they have a lot of like locations ar around the UK. So basically, have a look in the city near you. So let's say you just live in the countryside in the middle of nowhere, like you live in like St Ives, Cornwall. Like fair enough, there probably are going to be no degree apprenticeships in your area because then they, these are businesses they need employees they're not going to like you're, you're not going to get kpmg running random degree apprenticeship off a beach in cornwall like they're going to be in the cities they're going to be in birmingham they're going to be in manchester they're going to be in london okay they're going to be in like bristol and that sort of thing okay so have a look at a city near you and likely a lot of these apprenticeships um these nationwide apprenticeships are going to have one for you there okay and the final thing for you if you're if you're worried about that is you can also consider applying to ones far away as practice. So fair enough, I get it. You want to stay in your area. You want to apply to companies in your area. Fair enough, right? But you could also apply to ones which are far away, like literally on the other side of the country, just for practice. So you don't have to... You, I'm not saying go work for that company. What I'm saying is if it's a random company that like they do it in Manchester, you're in London, you don't want to go to Manchester, just apply to it in Manchester anyway. It'll be good practice for your other ones. At the end of the day, practice is how you can do best in the application process. And obviously... Don't apply to ones which you're already applying to. So if, if you live in Manchester, right, and you want to work for EY in Manchester, don't just randomly apply for EY in Glasgow. Like, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is if there's a different company, a random company, which they do one, like, in Northern Ireland or something, like, you might as well apply for it if, if you have the chance because it's just good practice. Okay, there you go. So that, that's for companies in your area there. So that's the end of the video. I hope that explains everything. And just a final thing, um, I really appreciate if you go to this form the link will be in the description if you haven't already just go fill it in let me know what you're struggling with what you need help with and it means i can make some more youtube videos based on that i've also been sending people like specific personal videos so there's an option on this form where you can sort of leave your email address it's completely optional but for the people who've left their email address i'm gonna be getting back to every single one of them sort of sending them a personal message to help them out in their specific situation so if, if you want a bit of that go fill out the feedback form and then i'll get in touch with you soon i'm just i'm just about to do a few more uh, responses to everyone else now so thanks for watching go do that feedback form and i'll see you in a bit take care bye bye bye